Most of Americans know characters like young Sheldon as super smart prodigies on television. Well, this morning, you're going to meet the real deal, and we're going to put him on television. That's Caleb Anderson. He's a kid genius who is not yet a teenager, but is already cruising through college courses and is set to go to a very prestigious university. As Mark Strassman shows us, before he could even walk, Caleb could astound people around him. Whip smart kids apply every year to Georgia Tech, but no one like Caleb Anderson. He's 12. I'm not really smart. I just grasp information quickly. So if I learn quicker, then I can get ahead faster. This elite engineering school fell over itself recruiting him. I'll get in here. Caleb saw the labs. He met the school's president. I have heard so much about you. Welcome to Georgia Tech. Thank you. He's a perfect candidate to come into our program and be very successful. Is his admission guaranteed? I would expect that he would be admitted for sure. Admitted to study aerospace engineering. Claire and Kobe Anderson, Kayla's parents. What's it like to be touring a college when your kid is 12? I don't think anything that Caleb's done has been normal <laughs> for us. By age one, he was reading. Look at this. Fun. Fun. At two, he knew sign language and how to do fractions. One, mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. three. I have this distinct memory of going to the first grade class and learning there. Everyone was way taller than me because, you know, I was two. I could barely walk. <laughs> Middle school was awful. It always is. The kids there, they kind of looked down on me or they treated me like I was an anomaly. And, um, which I kind of am. He's taken college courses for a year. His parents now want a university that's the right fit for a tween genius. We want him to be in an environment where he's accepted and not tolerated. If he comes to Georgia Tech, he's not rushing a fraternity. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> not at all. We're definitely protecting him. Make sure that when he is an adult, that he'll make a great husband or great father, a great friend one day. Lots of people think they're the smartest person in the room. Caleb really is. Does it ever occur to you, you know what, I'm, I'm looking at college and I'm 12 years old. This is my life. This is how I am. And um, I've been living this way my whole life. He accepts uh, that he's different, definitely uh, smart. What is it? For CBS This Morning, Mark Strassman, Atlanta. Uh, a 90 Love everything about him. You know yeah, why? Because yeah. he's smart, but he's still a kid. He's not obnoxious. Some smarty pants kids, you're like, OK, yeah. I get it. You're smart. But there's something about him that's so engaging. No, I, I love the line. Well, we wrote down the same, the same thing. thing. Go ahead, Anthony. He says, well, I'm not really smart. I just grasp <laughs> information quickly. <laughs> I love how his mom and dad, mom really has her head screwed on straight, yeah. too. Want him to be a great husband yes. and a great friend and a great father. But oh, it's tough when I you're sending it. your 12-year-old off to college and you, there's all these big guys there. And, and, you know, it's just, you got you worry. Something yeah. tells me that prestigious uh, universities will be calling. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think other, other university presidents right now, they're like, how come we didn't know about That's this? That's right. Yeah. That's yep. right. You go, Caleb Anderson, and Mr. and Mrs. Anderson, too.